Jackson, Jim Story, attorney and counselor at law. In recognition of 57 years of dedicated and distinguished service as Lyon County attorney, private practitioner, and benefactor of numerous charitable and civic endeavors. And then there's the quote that Mr. Obi mentioned, do not go where the path may lead, go instead where there is no path and leave a trail by Ralph Waldo Emerson. And it's presented this ninth day of March, 2015, 56th Judicial Circuit Bar Association. With congratulations. <laughs> I think I speak for all the judges in the room. This is the first time that Mr. Story has done what anybody's asking to do for <laughs> this long a period of time. So we all do congratulate you and uh, wish you the best. It's been a pleasure, Judge. Wish you the yeah. best. And so if you want to take a couple of minutes, you can do so. And if it gets too long, we'll ring it. Well, thank you. I don't know if Judge C.A. but um, G.L. Ovi, Justice Cunningham, and I want to say, ladies and gentlemen, my friends, my family, I want to thank the Bar Association for this presentation. I did not ask for it. I did discourage it, but I was overruled. <laughs> I want to especially thank my family. My poor girls that chimed in after Judge Cunningham and G.L. and the Bar decided to do this recognition in this ceremony, and I told them I didn't deserve this, but then I got to thinking. Seven <laughs> <laughs> years, long time. And I hope that you will consider my handicap of being almost 87 years old, and for you lawyers of the 56th Judicial District, maybe I'm an encouragement to keep going. I still have an office at home, HB, <laughs> and, <laughs> and all of you lawyers of Ticket 6 District, stand on your feet and speak up and don't hunker down. <laughs> like my daughter told me this morning, <laughs> she's a lawyer and one of the five best in Nashville for 20 years, five years straight. One of the best lawyers in America for five years straight. She's here with me today along with Margaret that was a mail carrier and has 650 boxes to fill <laughs> every day through this bad weather and through the hot weather. Right. And Sharon, thank you for helping. And Kelly, thank you for helping. And Becky, thank you for helping. And Lisa, and thank you, Judge Cunningham and GL. I've already said that, I think. <laughs> and um, I want to especially thank my family, Margaret and Virginia and Sarah Jane's here from Nashville. She builds houses. <laughs> and Betty Ann's a beautician in Paducah. And my son, Jimmy, is here with me. And Paul Mark's here with me. My boys on each end. As Barbara says, we have four girls and two bookends. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Bobby, for being my friend through the years. I love you. I have been through a lot since I retired, I burnt myself, and I went five months without sleeping. And that's hard for anyone to believe, but <clears throat> my arm and my leg were burned, and I would jerk HP, and I couldn't sleep. So you can go five months without sleeping. <laughs> <clears throat> when I was in the Army in Fort Knox, we'd get so sleepy, we'd walk out in the ditch sometime and still be asleep. That's the truth. Uh, who am I forgetting? I'm. Uh, thinking that what I've always told the lawyers that I have helped train, stand on your feet <clears throat> and speak from your heart and your mind and from your knowledge without notes, if you can. That way you get the inspiration and the, you get the content, you get the spontaneity and you get the realization, you get the spontaneity that goes with the realization of idea at the moment of utterance. If you look at your notes, you don't get that. It's all right to go back to your desk and get your notes. <laughs> but I like 
just standing on your feet. Those of you that I have helped train, which includes Judge Cunningham, I remember he would come by my office delivering papers when I was trying cases, so every day, condemnation cases in, in, the, in the state for the roads and the railroads. Uh, at the same time, I was trying a lot of cases in federal court representing uh, landowners, the TVA, <coughs> beginning in 1964. So I encouraged uh, Judge Cunningham because I knew of his ability. And as GL mentioned, he worked for me. And he came and he said he wanted to be a lawyer. I spoke to his class, he said, the other day. And that's where he decided he wanted to be a lawyer, Judge Red. And we all try to remember when we started wanting to be a lawyer. But uh, GL said, well, you spoke to my class, and I said, that's what I want to be. And so he came to my office, and he said he wanted to be a lawyer. And I said, well, first you've got to pass the LSAT, the Law School Acceptance Test. And I bought him a big book, or he bought it for me. His mother probably did. It was a big <laughs> And I says, you work for me, and you study two and a half hours in the back room. He passed it with flying colors. On the first day of law school, they wrote a lot of words on the, on the board and said, anybody in the class want to try to define these words? Like eminent domain and things like that, HB, I guess. And GLO, we went down the line and the professor said, well, where have you been? He said, well, I've been working for a lawyer. He said, I can tell that. <laughs> and of course, I don't know if Bill Young's here or not, but uh, as uh, GL Ovi mentioned, for a while I was the only lawyer in Lyon County. I think we have a 10 or 11 good lawyers here, and I'm so proud of you. And I've enjoyed practicing law. But I remember Bill Young was out in the Army as a captain, and he called, and he said, I'm looking for a place to locate. I said, come on over. Uh, I was moving the towns, the railroads, the highways, the people, trying cases here, condemnation cases, and trying cases in federal court, <coughs> trying to raise my six kids, or part of them at that time, and thank you, Barbara, for being my wife. <laughs> like the mother that her She got me elected three times. I know she mm -hmm. did. Right? She did, yes. Uh, I, would, I represented the, there's Bill. I represented the Corps of Engineers, and I still got elected. <laughs> amazed, Bobby. How that Barbara did it, and that was a good start. So anyway, back to Bill Young. He did call me one day. He said, I'm looking for a place to locate. I said, come on over. He said, what kind of a contract do you want? And I said, no contract. You stay as long as you want to, and when I say you need to go out on your own, and it will be soon, because we need two lawyers in the same office, you can't, you know, you have conflict of interest. Hi, Brenda. Hi, Brenda. Hi, Brenda. Hi, Brenda. <laughs> and so uh, Bill came, and I had a stack of files, and I said, I'm turning the city over to you. I'm turning Catala over to you. <laughs> Turn the Board of Education over to you. <laughs> Turn the water plant over to you. And here's a stack of cases. And he went right to work. <laughs> he did great. About two years later, he came by the office, and I had another stack of files, maybe a year later, Bill. I said, Bill, you're on your own. And that's the way he got started. I don't know if Lindy's here or not, but I helped train Lindy. There's Easy. Lindy out there. Lindy worked in my office. Uh, he was my detective and my paralegal before that word was ever defined by the Supreme Court. I guess I invented the paralegal. <laughs> <laughs> Probably so. And uh, Lindy was my detective, and I could write. I'm still writing books. I'm getting better after I control my knee, and uh, I'm, I'm going to uh, write some more, Judge. Uh, we know a lot of tales. Uh, let's see, even Joe Owen. He's not here, of course, but a lot of you know Joe. He 
I encouraged him to be a lawyer. He, he can't come in. His sister was working for me, Yvonne, and uh, he kept coming by the office. He was pumping gas for James Nephew down at Shawnee. It was just a real cold day. He came by. He said, I want to be a lawyer. I said, well, come by sometimes and we'll talk. And I told him how to do it. I said, I'll get you a job in Louisville. And I got him a job with Traveler's Insurance Company, even though I sued him all the time. I <laughs> <laughs> and I got him, I helped him get a job with Traveler's Insurance Company. And that's how Joe Owen got started. And who am I overlooking? Uh, Lindy and Bill started with me, Judge Cunningham. I helped encourage him and Bill Young and GL, of course. So that's what I'm most proud of, and my daughter being a lawyer, and all my girls were secretaries <laughs> and court reporters. Sarah Jane was court reporter. Yes. Then she got into the home building business. They all learned to be a judge. The time is up. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.